Happy Memorial Day. Ooh, y'all, it's hot out here. I just wanted to show y'all my little day lilies. They just getting their entire life. Um, looking forward to some blooms soon. It's still early. They haven't bloomed yet. Um, I do have a few wildflowers in there. I see. You see the purple one right there. Right there. It's a few of them. And um, I'm very glad. That's part of what I wanted to show you guys. The difference in between where we put the wood chips at and where we didn't. So I'm going to back up a little bit in my jungle grass that hasn't been cut yet all season. You can see all that jungle grass is as tall as the daylilies. And um, had we not put the wood chips down, they would be, this grass would be covering the daylilies. The weeds would have taken over. Uh, so wood chips is very much a effective way to keep down weeds. Same with this little area here. Had I not put the wood chips down, this whole section would have been loaded with weeds. I want to show you my first rose blooms. They up here today. So that's what I got for my Memorial's Day. The rose blooms. They're so pretty. Anyway, it's a hot one. It's hot where you at. Hope you keeping cool. I'm about to go in here. Turn on my air. Because it is hot today. One last thing. I wanted to show y'all about my plants. Now my potatoes. Um, I made the mistake. In the last round. Over there in that bag. Of not healing it up. Now here's the new round of potatoes and see these stems right here they are real fragile they are susceptible to exhaustion from the sun so I'm gonna heal that up I'll come out here with my little helper so he can help me heal that up which is the process of adding more soil to cover up the stems. The potatoes only need these top leaves exposed for photosynthesis. Otherwise, um, otherwise you cause damage when you expose those stems to the sun. Ooh wee, ain't you hot? <laughs> Look at me sweating. Like a roasting pig. That's because I just got through walking. Bring my cane in. Here go my little oregano that's getting their entire life up here. And my aloe vera getting this life in a bright sunny window on the southern side of my house, which is the best sun. And, um, I'm not going to be planting too much more. I want to get some lavender started because I really did want some flowers. Lavender for uh, pest control and um, medicinal purposes. Ooh. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee, 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 it's hot. Hey, Frank, how you doing? Put, put, turn the air conditioner on. Yeah, I'm just sitting up here because I ain't got nothing. Well, I ain't going to say and, that. And uh, you know, I, I want you to do me a favor. Take, take those mints that's in the water there. The Dump them in the compost because I'm not going to try to grow no more. Like and and Nana's about to get ready to pack up and move. It, it, it saddens me and excites me at the same time. 
Um, I really thought I was going to be here until I built my tiny home. Built or bought my tiny home. And uh, look like life is going to change directions for me. Um, Y'all know I let you know that I, um, I have officially paid for my test, my solar exam. North American Board of Certified Energy Professionals. I will be taking that exam soon. It is bought and paid for. Hmm? It's more than 101 years old. This house is 119 years old. It was built in 1900, so that's 119 years. That's why you want to move, because this is really old. That's not why I want to move. This house structurally is sound. Um, and strong. And strong. If it lasted 100 years, it'll last a few more. What I want is a tiny house, because I don't want a bunch of stuff. I don't want a bunch of stuff. You see how I fell the last few yeah, times? I just don't want no house with steps. I don't want to, you know, I, I don't feel safe in this house. Having to go up and down those stairs every time I go out the door is, you know, it's scary to me. I'd rather have a tiny house that uh, sit on the ground <laughs> and no stairs. No stairs for my bed, no stairs for nothing for the bathroom for nothing i want everything all on the same floor i wasn't always like that when i was younger i wanted stairs yeah, especially I when i had stairs. kids yep because you could send the kids somewhere else in your house so they could get out your face i loved having a basement but i don't know more a basement is a hazard to me now because they have stairs mm -hmm. a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. so today I want you to help me plant some more spinach, and my mama, uh, I want to plant some lavender. Oh, yeah. Oh. I see now, I used to have pear like that. It's, it smells too. Oh, really? Um, I got some lavender seeds I want to plant too. Um. Oh, and I want to give away some seeds, too. If you want this bundle of seeds, hit me up, Fat for Life TV at Outlook.com. Uh, the description, the link will be in the description. And um, I have been diligent about putting the links um, in the description of all my videos so far. This will be no exception. Um... So yeah, I want to I want to plant some sunflowers. I want to try some microgreens. Microgreens is not something you have to wait till they fully grown to benefit from. And I was told, well, I just say my research has revealed that sunflowers is a quite nutritious microgreens. So I want to get into that. That's part of why um, I had purchased some of the new items I purchased. Um, I purchased, you know, containers or trays so that I could have microgreens start growing, microgreens indoors. I'm not going to, I was so excited about planting this year because they cut down all those trees, which was giving me the blues. Um, in my growing efforts the previous years, so I was very much looking forward to that bright and sunny um, uh, yard uh, without the trees. But I didn't think about without the trees, that means this house get a whole lot hotter, a whole lot quicker. And um, I didn't know I was going to be moving. Um, I've been here six years, so as they say, time waits for no one. Um, I'm trying to find my um, trying to 
trying to find my lavender. I wanted lavender because I one I love the lavender smell in products that I purchased with the lav lavender right? scent. Well, I don't have anything right now that has Lavender is a nice, pretty smell. Um, tomato, tomato, tomato. Yeah, I thought I was going to be growing okra and okra. Get big plants like okra and a uh, whole bunch of squash. I was ready to do it up out there because I had a big old huge yard to work with. But if I'm going to be moving, that doesn't make sense. So I'm just going to stick the stuff I can grow indoors. So I'm going to finish uh, planting some more basil. I want it, I got some dark basil. Dark basil that I want to grow as a hanging plant because I think that's pretty. Um, Of seeds that have fell out, spilled all out. Ooh, where's that coming from? Oh, that's spit mustard spinach. Um, got a hole in that mm, hole in that package. Put a whole bunch of marigolds down to attract the birds and bees so my zucchini can have sex and make me some big zucchini. I'm still going to do the zucchini. I'm just not going to put it in the ground. I am going to use the grow bags. I'm going to use the grow bags to start the zucchini in that way when I do move, I can move that with me. Um, I don't plan to move a whole bunch of stuff, but if my zucchini is healthy and growing, I will be wanting to move that with me. Zucchini is my very favorite, oh, excuse me, very favorite veggie. You know what I did with my lavender? I think maybe I got it in the Back. No, but I was going to try it this year. I thought I was going to be living here, but now that I'm going to be moving, um, I'm not even going to try the eggplant. I sure do have the eggplant seeds. She, she said she wants the eggplant, no banana. She wants the eggplant. I did want to plant an eggplant. And I sure did buy seeds. I thought I had my seeds organized, Lord, so I still ain't got them the way I wanted to. I don't know where my lavender seeds are. I don't know how to misplace them. Anyway, y'all, uh, I do have a lot of lavender seeds in my plan, too get some of those started. I 
just wanted to update y'all on my planting situation. Um, I got some uh, yeah, spinach started in, in my backyard on the raised garden bed that I have. And um, I'm going to add uh, the lavender out there. And, and keep it in the container. I'm not gonna put it in the ground. I'll keep it in the container so I can take it with me. Um, I, I will be putting the miracles down. I will put that in the ground. Um, to add some cover to my yard. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be here, but willing to put the marigolds down just in case something changes in my life and I don't have to move. Um, in which case I will regret that I didn't put the marigolds down. Oh, no, that's, that's bugging me that I can't put my hand on the lavender right now. All I know is I bought a bunch of it. Um, I had planned since last year to uh, plant plant lavender. Anyway, y'all, that's just another short update of my planting planting situation. Um, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a haul on some of my stuff I bought from the store to help me in here in the um, growing indoors. I thought that I was going to have a little greenhouse on my porch and the wind blew a hole through those plants. That's for sure. Yeah, it kept knocking it over. Help her. I'm not at all happy about that at all. Very disappointed. And uh, such is life. Life throws you lemons sometimes, and you gotta make lemonade. But yeah, so I'm ending this this video with if you wanna win this package of seeds which um they only made it to this to this grouping because these are things i never planned to plant so you got some tomatoes um peppers um gypsum and so it's it's it's, it's vegetable and flower plants in here since i don't plan to plant any of these i got them separate and I want to give it away, so I got some uh, cauliflower, basil, sweet corn, okra. You can get all of these seeds for free. I will ship them to you because I don't plan to move nothing that I don't have to. That's including a bunch of seeds that I know I'm not going to plant. I'm not, there's nothing wrong with them. I just don't, I'm not a tomato person. Uh, peppers. I'm not much of a hot pepper person. I got a few bell peppers out there already growing, so that's all I need. I don't need a lot. So, these are seeds I'm giving away. A whole bundle of them. So, all you got to do to win this package of seeds as a giveaway is to hit me up at Fat for Life TV 
at Outlook.com. P H A T, the number four, L I F E T B, at Outlook.com and put seeds in the subject line. Anyway, peace and love. So I'll see you again in the next video.